You need to protect your trees against frost because they cannot stand frost. Second week of December, it's cold and it's going to be even colder. The rest of the week it's going to get frost, 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 frost. What do we do with the trees when it gets frosty? Interestingly, almost exactly one year ago I posted my first video on YouTube and that first video was a short video on frost. This week we're going to hit minus 9 Celsius overnight, many nights and during the days it's going to be minus 4, minus 5. Of course, for many that is not very cold. I am not in a very very cold country but still it's cold enough. Now what do I do to keep my trees happy throughout winter and wake up early in spring with my screen foliage instead of dead twigs? Many people will say you need to protect your trees against frost because they cannot stand frost and that is up to a point true. Um, however, until we get about 5 degrees of frost, that is about 22 Fahrenheit, my trees will just stay outside and they'll stay on their benches. Now after the temperatures drop more, they need some protection. And no, I am not talking about putting the tree on styrofoam and wrapping something around it. That actually doesn't help at all. And why is that? A tree does not generate heat. We, we stay warm by generating heat ourselves. A plant doesn't do that. So you can put all the insulation about a root ball that you want, but it's not gonna help you very much. It might save you one or two degrees, not more than that. What I do, I put my trees on the ground. What you'll see is that the pot freezes over, but today we've had the first night of frost. I'm going to show you something. So it's been freezing overnight. My pots are frozen and they've been on the ground. And what you'll see is that underneath the pot, and now I hope that I'm not going to be disappointed by not having this case, but underneath the pot, Yep, it's not frozen. It is still humid, it's still thawed. That is because of the earth core heat. Soil typically is warmer than air. So putting your pot on the ground will stabilize the temperatures a little bit. What you can do, cover it with leaves or mulch and do that. And it will protect from the spikes in the air. I take my pots, I huddle them together, but I do this in a spot where the sun will never shine. In winter, there's a big risk that your trees dry out because of frost. Of course, when everything's frozen, watering doesn't work. Make sure that after three or four weeks of being in this state, your trees do thaw out a little bit, or you protect it really well from wind and sun. So welcome to my overwintering corner and what we have here that is pretty much south. So this wall protects all these trees against the sun. Because there is a shed there again, there's no wind in this corner. That means this is an optimal location for overwintering trees. There's no wind, there's no sun, it will stay cool quite long because in spring it doesn't heat up from the sun and therefore the trees will stay dormant as long as possible. I do not want my trees to wake up early. The longer they stay dormant, the better it is in springtime. To me, the riskiest time in winter is in the very early winter and the very late winter. Early winter, the trees are not adjusted to frost. Every time the night goes below zero and it gets cooler, the tree will prepare more antifreeze. It will get more frost hardy. So if you go from zero degrees to minus five to minus 10, over the course of two weeks, the trees will adjust. But if you just jump from five Celsius, five above freezing, and then you drop to the minus 10, your trees will have a lot harder time. The same in springtime, as temperatures start to increase, it will build down the frost hardiness. So at the moment it starts growing, it can't take that 10 Celsius, uh, minus 10 anymore. At that point, it is very, very dangerous to get deep frost, it can kill trees. In the middle of winter, like it is now, the trees are dormant, it's cold, it's consistently cold, your trees will be fine. Excellent decision to put all my trees down on the ground and out of the wind because we're now almost a week later and everything is frozen. We've had minus nine every single night for the last five nights. Everything is frozen solid. It's gonna thaw again tonight. Hopefully for a couple of days, but so far so good. All my trees are happy, dormant, sleeping. Merry Christmas, everybody. 
When thinking about frost and protecting your bonsai, it is important to realize there's quite a big difference in how susceptible the trees are to frost. Large, pines, junipers, they all can take a lot of frost. In fact, in my climate, we hardly ever get temperatures below minus 15. I don't protect them from frost at all. They will stay in their spots most of winter and only if they're completely frozen through for days on end and the sun is shining will I take them to the shade to avoid the branches drying out. But frost damage on pines, on large, on junipers in my climate, nah, nothing happens to them. Pines, junipers, they can handle a little bit of sun. But do be careful because in the sun things can warm up very quickly and if the roots are frozen, Mmm, pine smell. This one also can dry out. I'm fortunate that I live in a climate where it hardly ever freezes down for more than two or three weeks in a row. If it does stay very cold overnight for three or four weeks or more, do consider allowing the trees to thaw out once. Unless, of course, if there's a lot of snow, a lot of humidity, pots are covered by snow, then it's fine. But, in contrast to trees that have their roots way down in the soil, these have no way of getting water out of the ground. So, in sun and wind, the risk of drying out is real. The Japanese apricot, or Prunus mume, you can see the flower buds, they're starting to swell. It is now December, I expect it to start opening the flower buds in maybe six weeks. This is a really, really cool species. It will flower in the middle of winter, when everything is frozen, just as it is warming up during the days, the flowers will open up. Such a cool plant. Are all conifers really, really frost resistant? No. Yews are quite susceptible to frost. So as soon as it starts freezing, these go onto the ground in my sheltered spot. So they're out of the wind, out of the sun for most of winter. Only when in springtime I think frost is over, do these come back up on the benches, but until that time, I protect these. The roots of a yew are very sensitive to frost. Arakawa maple is a species, or actually it's a cultivar of Japanese maple. They are very sensitive to frost. So this one is going to take, this one I will take off the bench and I'll put it in the shed because I don't trust this in minus 10 Celsius outside. When I say all my trees are still on the benches, that's not completely true. This one is empty. There's an uh, individual ficus leaf left here. This is where my pomegranates and where my olives and the ficus. So my tropicals and Mediterranean plants normally stand. These have been moved in last week already. And well, actually my tropicals, my tropicals moved in just before my holidays. In late October, I put those inside because they cannot stand a single day or night of frost. Now, when it comes to olives and pomegranates, they can, they can take a bit of frost, but not too much. So when we've had one or two nights of frost, I like to protect them. Make sure that if you overwinter olives and they do get frost, the root ball needs to be dry. If you decide to put your trees in a shed or in the basement for winter, be careful. Make sure on the one hand that the pots stay watered, because yes, it does dry out even though it is cold, but also keep your door or a window open so that the shed doesn't heat up when it gets sunny. Just a few degrees above zero, that is what you're hoping for, just above freezing point. If you go towards 10 degrees Celsius or 50 Fahrenheit in your shed, the trees may wake up. They may start growing in a dark shed in the middle of winter. The first half of winter is okay, but after New Year's, the trees have had six, seven weeks of dormancy, temperatures rise, trees will start waking up. Be careful. I need to check. Um, aphids may have woken up as well, maybe sucking on the juices of the tree. So in the middle of winter, check. Is there anything new on it? This one's still fine. Overwintering in a greenhouse may sound like a very good idea, but be careful. My greenhouse is exposed so that it is in full sun. That means, that right now the sun is starting to get onto the greenhouse, it's starting to warm up. Inside, it might already be five or 10 degrees warmer than it is outside. This afternoon, here, there might actually be room temperatures. That's not a good place to overwinter trees that need to be dormant. So if your greenhouse is exposed to the sun, make sure you block the sun from coming in. If you use it for 
overwintering your trees. Keep the doors open, windows open, all the vents open, especially on sunny days. It's a lot of work. I don't do it. It is, however, a nice place to put trees that need to be frost free, like others. And you also don't want them to get wet because there's a roof over their head. Same principle though. Make sure it stays as cold as possible without going into frosty temperatures. So, how do you know which species need what protection? Um, as said, there's a wide variety of sensitivities of the species and not all species are as predictable as you would think. However, one thing to look at it is by saying, well, where do trees normally grow? If they grow in your normal surroundings, you can be pretty sure that the branches will not suffer any winter damage and it's just the roots that you have to be careful about. And as said, mostly by putting the pots on the ground and protecting it from wind, in most cases you are okay. If temperatures drop below minus 10 Celsius, then you'll need to protect more. Now, if you have species that are not local to your own climate, look where they normally grow. If you take species that grow high up in the mountains where there's lots of ice and lots of snow, you can be pretty certain that when you're lowing down, the trees will be okay. But if your trees come from another region, say tropicals, they don't like the frost. Mediterranean species typically also don't like the frost, but it might be a bit of a trial. Yeah, you might lose a tree or two if you try out too much. The challenge is, however, if you don't put your trees in the frost and you just put them in the shed, you might end up with trees waking up early. They might still get damaged by a late frost if you forget to bring them in every single night. Choice is up to you. I've shown you what I do. It's up to you what you do.